Second way you can tie your do-rag It's pretty similar to the first one Just one tiny difference Wavers call it the no-knot method Because you don't have to tie a knot If you don't know how to tie your shoelace You should try this method I out. don't recommend going to sleep tying your do-rag like this so Because it might fall off And you don't want that Everything about this method is similar to the first method Except for this part Go around your head twice And when you run out of strings you Use the first string that you wrapped around your head And make a pocket underneath it To put the tail of the string inside of that pocket You just created with your finger That sounds so confusing I hope you get it Let go of the second string that you were holding with your mouth And go all the way around your head again but before you do that, make sure you flip the string so the do-rag won't look inside this out. This string is going to hold the first string that you've put inside of that pocket you've created. And it's going to hold it so it doesn't come loose. Now you want to make another pocket, but this time it's going to be on top of both strings. This second pocket is going to be made with both of the strings. And that's supposed to hold your do-rag. I hope you understand. And there's no knot in the back. Therefore, there's no irritation in the back.